Hey y'all, it's Gord here on a freezing, freezing day. As I said, the cold has hit. It's minus 15 or 16 and with wind chill minus 20. The wind bursts right now. It's not, oh, and there it comes. See, it, it goes up and down. But I'm sitting at home as you tend to do in the freezing and two things pushed me outside one this is video number 999 when it posts i wanted to make sure that my weedy weekend which i do on sundays would be my 1000th video there is some significance to the number 999 there you know it is considered because sorry getting the glove on this hand because nine is the last single digit 999 signifies completion of a life's event event and i think that's maybe something pretty neat considering that 2016 was the year where other people influenced my mood the year 2016 was the year that I was afraid of everything. Uh, 2017 has come, signifying a new event, because I can no longer live that way. I can no longer continue to be scared of everything, to be nervous of what some people might think about things I'm doing. And, you know, I've got to learn to start living by the day again like a true hippie and looking at the positives instead of every single thing that's upcoming being a negative in here before it's even completed so that's why I wanted to do this video was video 999 signifies this 2017 change of attitude by Gord Birch back to the old hippie back to the guy who believe the best will happen and the best outcome that can happen from a situation will happen from a situation look at my hair ha <laughs> and i can survive anything that comes through and to remind myself my son my older son has been reminding me of this same with my daughters uh i'm a good dad i'm a good person i've done a lot of real good not just for my own children, but their friends that were in trouble when they were growing up. I had four or five different foster kids. And even though my son doesn't live with me full time, my younger son doesn't make me any less of a father. In fact, fathering from far away is difficult. And if you can do a good job of it, which I am, then I should, I don't believe in patting yourself on the back, but I should, because I have to change my ways. I ask all of you to, uh, I'm, I'm asking all my friends, my, my closest ones, and in many cases, that's all of you. Uh, you see me getting negative? Let me know, give me a boost, get me going, because I wanna keep doing these videos, but I do have to put some emphasis on change in my life on closing down all these past open doors that that really ate at the soul pretty deep for video 999 and uh ooh, slippery out here but required required it was time for something deep the next video tomorrow will be video number 1000 but it won't be titled that it'll be weedy weekend number 89 or 90 or something like that uh we will be discussing some recent canadian things where the canada post is intervening packages of medical marijuana before they even get to the patients i don't think that's even legal certainly not within our rights to get our medicine anywhere we want but that seems to be what's happening. There seems to be a lot of weird things going on in the Canadian environment. And I'm going to bring it to you tomorrow. Ooh, <laughs> very slippery. This is the back of my house. 
somebody's gone after my garbage can. As usual, they just break it and break it and break it, but oh well. This is the back of my house, and I'm nearing the turn. I'm a little too tired today, and it's a little too cold today to go too far and do too much. I really need this day off. I only get a couple where I'm not committed to doing some things, volunteer work or not. So I need to take this as a day for me, a day to wind down, sleep a lot maybe even. It's my first weekend of eight without my little boy staying overnight. So it's very empty in the house. So I welcome all of you and all of your comments. Peace and cheers, love, and harmony. Peace. Thank you, all of you.